runners will often just forget about. And when we want to sort of understand them for running, we want to understand a little bit about anatomy first. So from an anatomy perspective, we've got quite a few little adductors. You've got adductor brevis, which is sort of high and, and short. Adductor longus, which runs the, the whole length. You've got a muscle called gracilis that runs through as well. Um, and and uh, deep in, there's a big fat muscle called adductor magnus. Uh, and what it does, it, it sort of originates on the initial tuberosity, so quite sort of far towards the back, and it comes through sort of pubic ranges down through onto the linear aspera of the femur. So sort of quite large, quite quite fat type of muscle. Um, so from an, a, a, an action perspective, what it does is it adducts, so it, it brings the foot towards the midline. But because it's so large, it sort of travels so far towards the front and the back. It can be involved in flexion, so just as flexion and, and extension. Okay, so it can do those two, two things. But if it gets tight, what it will do is limit flexion and limit extension as well. So that's your stride length. So really, really important to start to be aware of that. So we're going to have a look at just a couple of little stretches that we can use for our adductors, the targeting productive movements, uh, and we'll get into this position. So, so. Like to have a, a functional stretch that you guys can do sort of it sort of very easily after you run. And and basically uh, stretching out the muscle, Laura's sort of sticking her butt back. So she's really sort of targeting, she, she's getting uh, specific little fibers of a duck magnus there, but also picking up the, the adductor longus as well. I always think of the body as a three-dimensional structure, so that's one linear line of the duck muscle. So then she tucks her bottom just a little bit further. She's actually changed that angle and she's shifted the stretch so you feel a bit higher. So really, really getting on the duct of magnus there. And then she can change it one more time to straighten up. So she'll really feel it sort of a bit higher and almost through the front push yeah. a little bit there. So three little sections. I usually again love to do like 30 second stretches uh, for these. And remember, you're going to do your static stretching post, post run. You're going to do this pre run, it's going to be more dynamic, it's going to be shorter, sharper stretch. So, so think about stretching adductors in that way. We'll just show you another way. Um, so just sitting there. Um, and this is like your little butterfly stretch. Um, we always know with muscles that if we if we squeeze muscle, if we contract the muscle first, we'll get a better relaxation. So, so oftentimes most people will just sit on this stretch, so just, just pushing down, uh, just into that. If you want to actually really target and get a, 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 the next level up in, in length, then you can first. So just popping the elbow sort of on the knees. And what she's doing now, she's going to push knees up. So she's pushing up, she's going to hold that for about five seconds and push, 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 push. And then just relax. And then just sink into that stretch. And, and that's why she'll do that. She'll, so she'll pair the squeeze and stretch techniques. Um, she'll sit on that for a, a, about 30 seconds as well. So uh, adductors really, really important muscle for running. Uh, they often get forgotten about it. I don't think about their quads, their hamstrings. If they get too tight, them to stand up. What will happen is they'll sort of get the, the, they'll, they'll tighten in through here. So just, just facing that way. If these adductors get too tight, they'll almost um, sort of internally rotate. So they'll almost sort of shift and they'll almost uh, lock you up. So they'll shift in, lock you up slightly anterior tilt you. That's, that's uh, an exaggeration, but that's the type of position that they can, they can leave you in. So you can end up with lower back type of pain. You can end up with um, uh, more torsion through your legs. So that can be exaggerated by your pronated feet and all those types of things. So think about stretching adductors, keeping them nice and long so that you can stay injury 